Okay, I thought I would take and have some stencil material in my Laser Orter Laser Master 3. Uh, I just have a baking sheet right there, baking rack. And then this is 10 mil plastic. It's supposedly food safe. It's supposed to be um, yeah, easy to cut. But I'm gonna go ahead and see if it will work with the Orter Laser Master 3. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we can do there. As you can see, I just have a basic square uh, on Lightburn here using Lightburn software. And I'm gonna go ahead and frame it. So that way we can make sure that we have everything going where we need to. And it looks like, looks like I can adjust it just a little bit. Okay, this is an experiment. I have the laser focused and we should be all good. So let's go ahead and double check our speed as well as our power. I don't think we need to have our power up to, yeah, we do. But let's go ahead and bring it down to 75 and then the speed, I'm sure we can turn the speed up a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and just try 150. 150. Alrighty. And see so you have the air on. We'll go ahead and turn that on. And I'm going to go ahead and turn the air on and we'll see what will happen. doesn't look like it's cutting and they have said this on different forums that you cannot cut transparent or you know translucent opaque type of materials like a stencil sheet so there's got to be a way to do this and I'm going to go ahead and find out and see what we can do and as you can see I took some just regular painter's tape and put it on the sheet and I'm just going to go ahead and give that a try and see what happens. And if that's the case, I guess we'll have to figure something out. So let's go ahead and give this a, give this a go, give this a try. And we'll start. And it looks like it's cutting. We'll go ahead and see what it's doing. Actually, cuts out the material that we need to cut. It does appear that it is. It could be just cutting the tape. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this out of here. And it looks like it had a cut, but you, you need to mask it, obviously. So this is just something to play with. I cut it out pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of jagged edge to it. But let's go ahead and peel some of the tape off and just see what the edge looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and get a closer look. You can almost see, let's go ahead and zoom in, some of the burn edge on the stencil part of it. It doesn't appear that it has warped it. Let's go ahead and get this focused. Warped it um, any. I'm just kind of trying to zoom in on that side there. Yeah. But like I said, it, it did it did burn the edge a little bit. So would I give this a, a success, you know, a thumbs up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So would I call this a success, you know, like a thumbs up? No, not really. I mean, there has to be another way that we could do this. And I'm sure that we could use some, like, vinyl transfer tape, you know, that would uh, block it so that way we could have 
a you know a cut into the seems like it'd be kind of a lot of work but um and the other part is you know actually i think if i was to not slow the the laser down maybe speed it up and cut the power down a little bit it may be a success but the way i have it set now i wouldn't call it a hundred percent success i would definitely say that it needs a little more work and um that's all i have so hey this is nicholas over here at village tackle crafts playing around with the orchard laser master 3 and just trying to see if we can cut some stencil material just keep playing around keep uh, having fun so I'll catch you in the next one.